Hey guys, welcome to code.org tutorial. This time we're going to introduce uh, how to use and get familiar with code.org. So let's begin. Uh, when you log in, you should be you should see something similar to this, my dashboard. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to scroll down and we're going to be looking at whoops, we're going to scroll down. And we're going to go into App Lab. That's where we're going to be doing our coding or programming. So I'm going to click on that. And it's going to give you a blank project. And this is going to look a little bit scary first, but you guys will soon get uh, very familiar with this. So just to show you guys, uh, we have over here in the tab section, we have code, design, and data. So we're going to mostly work with code and design. And we'll also be creating additional screens as well. So this is screen number one, and I can create a new screen, screen number two. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to learn a little bit about the naming conventions as we, uh, we're going to look at creating some different buttons. We're also going to be importing some images. Okay. And we're also going to write a little bit of code to get our buttons to switch between different screens. So screen two, I've already got an image here, and I've got a button. And screen one, I don't have anything over here yet. Okay. Now, I'm going to get a few images. And let's get an image of, um, of some fruits, let's say. It's being a little bit slow on me. So I'm just going to continue over here. I'm going to drag a button here. And I'm also going to drag another image over here. And it's not wanting to go to Google. Let's see if I just do a search for oranges. All right, it's not liking that either. Okay, let me go over here and maybe see if I can get better results. Orange. That looks good. Okay, so I'm just going to grab a picture of an orange. And I'll probably have to size it down. Let's grab this one. Actually, it'll probably be faster if I just screenshot this thing. So let me just go back. I'll just screenshot this. It doesn't need to be too big. And orange. And so let's get uh, let's get grapes. Okay. And let me just screenshot that. Great. Okay. So I'm going to be using these two images as my example over here. So uh, I'm going to put an image. Of a of my orange here. Hmm, Firefox isn't liking me very much this morning. Very strange. Okay, I don't know what's going on. Uh, let me try to restart. Let me try to relog into code.org over here. Okay, let's try this again. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to go back down to App Lab. Okay, and it looks like we've lost our previous project. That's okay. So here's our button, here's our image. Let's create a new screen. So it's the same thing I just did a little bit earlier, but done at a faster rate. OK, so what we want to do is we want to upload an image. And we can code, come down over here where it says Choose. If we click on that, we can click Upload Image. And I'm going to select the image of my orange. And once it's finished uploading, uh, you still have to click one more time on this Choose button. Then it selects that image uh, to be displayed here. Now, you can resize this, of course. Move it around, okay. And in screen one, I'm also going to uh, click on choose, and I'm going to upload another file. We could have uploaded both files at the same time, um, but just going uh, step by step here. Hmm. Okay, so there's my grapes. I'm going to choose that, okay. resize it, make it a little bit bigger. Right, very good. Okay, so. A few things about um, 
about the naming conventions. And this is going to make it a lot easier for us to recognize where we can find things once we get into our coding. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to select screen one. Okay, so all the things, uh, all the objects you see here belong under screen number one. So I have a button here, I have an image, and I have screen number one. So that's exactly what I have here as well. So rather than calling it screen one, I'm going to call it screen. And I'm just going to shorten SCRN. I'm going to call it grapes. So that's my ID for my screen. And I'm going to name button one. Now I'm going to shorten this to BTN. Uh, go to, as we'll see a little bit later, we want this button to go to the other screen. So it's going to go to the orange screen. Let me say BTN go to orange. But I'm also going to start off with SCRN screen grapes. Okay. And we'll see a little bit later on uh, how this helps us organize things. It does seem quite long right now, but uh, trust me on this. It will make our lives easier later on. Okay, so I'm also going to change my image. My image is going to be, uh, I'm going to get started off with SCRN. So it's in. It's part of screen grapes. That's an image. So I'm going to put IMG and grapes. All right. So let's go over to screen two. Okay, and again, I'm going to do something similar. I'm going to name this SCRN, orange. Now notice every time I start a new word, uh, we don't usually use spaces. Um, in our programming languages. We usually, uh, what we do is to distinguish one word from another, we capitalize the second word, but we keep everything else in lowercase. So this is screen orange, and I'm just gonna use the drop down box here. So this is also going to be screen orange, but this is also my button as well. So it's going to go BTN, go to, uh, grapes. Okay. Now I'm going to click on my image too as well. I'm also going to rename this SCRN uh, orange, and it's the image of an orange. Okay. Now I know that sounds a little bit complex to describe everything, and I know some of you guys will get very lazy about it, uh, but it will save your time later on. And when we're going to get into some coding right now. So here we go. And so this is, uh, we do our programming based on events or when certain things happen. So I'm gonna click on, when we click on our button, so this is part of our screen grapes and we have the button that goes to orange. And of course over here, we have our screen orange and we have a button that goes to grapes, okay? So from grapes to orange, from orange to grapes, okay? Our last thing we're going to do is we can just drag and drop this set screen uh, command. Okay. Now uh, we're going to go to, if we click the drop down, we're going to go to from grapes to orange. So we're going to go to screen orange so, and from orange to grapes. So we're going to go to grapes. All right. Let's try this out. Okay. So we're in screen grapes. Click on that, it goes to orange. Click on that, goes back to grapes. Okay. Now I just noticed one last thing here. We can also rename the um, the message here. So we could say go to orange. Okay. We can also make the button a little bit bigger. Okay. And we can also change this to go to grapes. Let's just resize that a little bit. Okay. All right. Let's try that out one more time. Okay, so we click on our button, go to orange, click on that, go back to grapes. Okay, so that's the end of our tutorial. Uh, we managed to get some coding. We learned a little bit about putting different designs and why we did that naming convention earlier. You can see that everything that belongs as part of the screen grapes is all together because it's, it's named, uh, everything starts with screen grapes. So it makes it very easy to find those items and that's why we went through the painful process of creating the names as we did here. All right, guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you in our next tutorial.